going to Delisandro's. I don't know why we're doing this. We went to John Drew's Pork. We already had the best. I don't know. I mean, what, what are we doing? I've, I want to apologize to John Bucci. I'm sorry I'm doing this, John. But listen, he has to... He's a world traveler. I'm he has a, to... I'm doing a series. Right. He has to find out why your cheesesteak's the exactly. best. That's still the number one. Yeah, no kidding. I told you. I mean, I, of course it is. Adam is going to get the cheesesteak in Alessandro's. And I'm going to get a cheesesteak for Chubby's. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a cheesesteak from both places and we're going to compare to see which one is the best. I don't know which one would be better, but we'll find out. Let's see. So I've acquired two cheesesteaks. It took me about 30... Man, this thing's heavy. It's a heavy steak. It took me about... Uh, Seven minutes, insies, outsies. There's Adam, he's just waiting. Don't hit me. Very important YouTuber walking through. Look at that. Feel what heavy this is. So how, you waited, what, five minutes? Yeah. It's gonna be a half hour for the big guards over here. Is that what they said? So we're gonna have time to eat these. Oh. So we got plenty of time, they gotta call my name. They, they said uh, that, um, uh, I asked the lady, what's the difference between Chubby's and D'Alessandro's? And they said, well, the service here is faster, friendlier, and we actually allow our customers to sit inside and eat while this place makes all their customers freeze to death. So, so basically what we did, we ordered a total of four cheesesteaks between the three of us. And this is going to be the two, this is from Chubby's, much quicker and not as busy as... The other place that we're standing right. in front of. So uh, we're start off with Chubby's. Lady from Chubby said that they give you more cheese on D'Alessandra, and this place gives you more meat because that's where the money is. Okay. I don't know. So let's uh let's take a look at what we're what we're dealing with. Oh, look at oh, and fried onion. Yeah, I like that. Not caramelized, like more of a straight up raw onion. And this steak isn't chopped as fine as the D'Alessandro's cheese steak. Huh? It looks good. Let's see how it eats. <laughs> Here, well, I had my hands on this, right? Ready to grab it. Let's go. I guess you could say this is kind of caramelized. Adam doesn't like caramelized I'm onions. I'm not a big fan of caramelized. All right, this is. Chubbies. It's a good cheesesteak. It's a good cheesesteak. It is good. This is a cheesesteak you can get at any pizza shop in Philadelphia. You go to any pizza shop, you say, give, oh, give me a cheesesteak. It would be like this. The bread. I like the bread. Very soft. That's an Amoroso roll. And I think the cheesesteaks were about $12 a pop. What do you think, Jeff? It's very good. I agree. This is this is typical. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's not Our exceptional. Course. This is better than the one you had in Atlantic City. <laughs> right? Yeah. I didn't even have it. I just looked at it, and I know. I know. I like it's the really bread. Good. I like the bread. Do they put anything on it? Is it cheese in here? I don't yeah, cheese. They don't go crazy on the cheese. You see it on the bottom. It's melted in. Mm-hmm. Chubbies. Yeah, you eat a few of these. Not that we all are a little bit anyway. Yeah, I'm there. A little chubby. I'm there. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, I would give this cheesesteak a six and a half. I like that. A six and a half. Let it be known. I have a thunder clap when I get the official number. Six and a half. Yeah. What do you think? The bread's good, but I missed the little like sesame seed things. Or not the whatever the, the steep, poppy seeds. Poppy seeds. Well, usually the poppy seed rolls are a harder, thicker roll. Like, when we went to John's Rose Pork, which is home of the best cheesesteak, that cheesesteak, that roll was thick and hard. The same way I like my men. Thank you. Give me a little chubby. Give me a big chubby. Let's go. I'm starting to think the captain is on the payroll of John's. No, I'm not. No, I'm, I, I'm okay, the cap. Yo, I'm the captain of Philadelphia. It's my job to show everybody. This is pretty dang good. It is good. I think this might be my second favorite cheesesteak I've had this week in this series, though. Mm -hmm. I think this is my. No, it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. Chubby's. It's been open since 1987. And where where was the first you went to? It was over near. 
Cimini Brothers. Okay. Can't remember where it was. I keep wanting to say it's called Cosby's, but it's not. Oh, Cosmos or something. Cosmos. Cosmos. It was good. I never heard of that place. It wasn't great, but it was good. It's good. And of course, all of us, you know, not having our better halves with us here, none of us have napkins. I didn't get, that's how, my, my girlfriend, she always gets the napkins. I don't have her now. So now I'm getting cheese sauce over my white jacket. No napkins, no drinks, no, no utensils. No, no light, no motor car. Oh. I got us some, uh, some bottles here. Ooh, there's one. Liquid water, liquid yeah. death? You guys ever had this? It's pretty good. It's just water in a can? It's just mountain water, yeah. Wow. It's like the new it's like the new hip thing. <laughs> Man. <laughs> That's, I thought it was an energy drink all this time. It's just water? <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Come on. You know you love it. Mountain water from the Alps. Is that really what you think of when you look at mountain water from the Alps? Why have you guys had this, uh, had this water brand before? All right, do we look like we drink water? All right, this almost looks like identical to what Chubby's gave us. It's very big onions. Yes. Um, going to do, do the Adam the Woo spin? Oh, the spin, yeah, yeah, the spin. <laughs> spin it it's hard to do it. I'm about to use another uh, Disney reference, but when I go to Food and Wine at Epcot, I eat on trash cans, and we're kind of eating like on a on a non table. Right. Yeah, yeah, I compare everything to Disney. Well, yeah, of course you do. It's always Disney's always on his mind. So it looks good. Yeah. Let's see how it eats. It. All right. Now keep in mind, we waited six days for this sandwich. <laughs> longest, longest cheese sandwich I've ever had. Well, it's, I mean, it's piping hot. A piping hot. Ooh, I like the cheese. Look at this. You like the cheese? Yeah, it's melted. Ooey gooey. I think it's cheesier. I think it's got more cheese. Oh, this is a cheese sandwich with a little bit of steak in it. The cheese it's very is quite cheesy. pronounced. A lot of cheese. What well, you were saying, the Chubby's has a lot more meat. Mm -hmm. and this place, what's it called? This is D'Alessandro's. There's a lot more cheese. I asked a lady at Chubby's, what makes yours better? She said they fill their sandwich with cheese. We fill ours with meat. And I would agree. I taste more cheese than I do steak in this sandwich. And you can get double the cheese, which I almost were tempted to do. Right. I'm glad I didn't because this is way cheesy. This is almost too cheesy. I, I'm going to say uh, already Chubby's. Ch and I think Chubby's wins. In speed and taste. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it, though. It's fine. It's not... People swear by this. People say this is the best cheese steak in Philadelphia. Really? I, I think that... I think, the two I think those people need to go to John's Roast Pork. I like donkeys better than this. You like donkeys? Better than this? Donkeys is my least favorite. I like this atmosphere at donkeys. Now, what's good is we still have a little bit of chubbies left over. I'm going to take a dip back into that pool. See what that's like. <clears throat> and this onion, the onions. <laughs> I'm going to keep I'm going to keep vlogging. This onion isn't isn't cooked. It's very raw. It's a raw onion. Barely fried. This is very cheesy. It's almost too much cheese. Yeah. Garbage. Scale 1 to 10. I give it a five. If I went to a pizza shop and got this cheesesteak, I'd be like, why'd they put that much cheese on it? Same bread, same Amorosa roll. Yep. It tastes, it tastes just like Chubby's with like a little more cheese. Too much cheese. Not enough salt. Not enough onions. Mm. Let's get back into that Chubby's world. Yeah, I'm giving it. I'm going lower. I'm going. I'm going four point five. Ah, uh, you're a snob. <laughs> now we're going back into the Chubby's world. Too too much cheese. I'm gonna get the end of the Chubby's. Yeah, Chubby's is better. Uh oh. Chubby's is they season the steak, salt and pepper, like they. You know, it took five minutes to make. And it's, a, it's so much better. Okay. I don't mind this one either. I, I like both of them. They're both different. But I, I think Chubby's is a little higher on the scale. Wow. 
There's still no John's Roast Pork. No, what is though? Like Adam? A, that's like a whole. That's like a whole other level. You got to try that one, then, John. I've had it before. No, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, that's a good one. It's that's a great good. one. Absolutely. Shut your mouth. It's a good one. <laughs> it's a great one. All right, I'll I get your review of this uh, this water here. <laughs> you want my review of water? <laughs> yeah, tell me how the water tastes. Okay, huh? Philadelphia tap water is better. <laughs> what do you think of that? We got the best tap water in the world. Let's go. <laughs> this is that's liquid death. Yeah. I also don't like the can. The you water like in the can. Because then, like, I, what water do you want to seal it up and walk around? Yeah. They're doing well, that company, though. I'm sure they are. They're selling water in the can. From the Alps. <coughs> the brand is pretty good. It's the same exact roll. Yeah. Same roll? Yeah, Amoroso. They, they well, get it from the same place? Amoroso Adam rolls. Adam asked if we would like to have some water in the can. I said, no thank you. I'll have it right here. European vacation clothes. Absolutely. All right. Does anybody want this last one? Bob? I'm going with the chubby second half. Are you good? Yeah, I'll take something. What do we got? All we got is one left. Do you want it? Absolutely. Oh, then you take it. Unless we can rip it in half. Oh. Nah, I, I've, I've had enough. <laughs> I can always eat more, but I've had enough. Oh, oh, thank you. Let's go. I'm going to let these guys, they can eat that D'Alessandro's garbage. I'm going to have this chubby. Mmm. Mmm. I'm having a better experience than both of these guys right now. Too cheesy. It is too cheesy. Can you taste any pepper? I have a little bit of pepper in here, a little salt. I don't taste the cheese. I was thinking that I would want more cheese, but now that I've had a lot of cheese, I don't think it's, you don't want a lot of cheese. Just covered in steak meat. The swans. Sorry, feed the pigeons. Just park it to get us food. Yeah. Where they call the cops on us? When there's a traffic white one, come in and out. Oh, okay. Oh. Sounds good. There were people plunging heroin into their necks. In Kensington Avenue, there's a lot of pizza cheesesteak here. Sometimes I hate the city. 